Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the temper section optimization in robot structural analysis. And I will use a uh, gable frame structure uh, in this video, but uh, I will only model it in 2D. Okay, uh, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And if you like this video, please put a thumb up as well. So first we need the structural axis. So uh, we can create the structural axis here. And this is for the height of the structure. I'm going to change it to value and Okay, now this we uh, got the structural axis. We can create a section. I already create a section here, so we have columns. Uh, this is not the right uh, value, so I'm going to change this. So we have column and rafter. Uh, we can draw the column and rafter here. I just use the simple uh, member uh, member type because uh, we're going to change it later. So right now we don't have to worry about it. And this is rafter. You can turn on the section of the uh, member here and next I'm going to uh, select the offset and choose upper flank and you can turn on the offset here and I'm going to uh, rotate this column so we can do this in gamma angle and change this to 180 uh, degree and next we can set the uh, support of the uh, frame so we got the 2d frame here next we can uh, create a load so the first one is the same way so it's gonna be the uh, nature that uh, that load and the second one is the superimposed dead load and next we can create the roof line and the last one is the wind load okay so first i'm going to uh, uh, import the superimposed dead load on the, the rafters so I need to put the value here you can turn on the value of the load uh, by clicking on this button and next one is this uh, light load and the other one is wind load And I need to apply it uh, on the column as well. So this is the load that uh, we apply. So we have the super uh, imposed dead load, roof line load, and uh, wind load. Uh, next we can create the combination so I'm gonna, uh, I choose the menu combination here and click on more and you can select the ultimate limit state and serviceability limit state and select all generate so you got the uh, ultimate limit state combination and the serviceability uh, limit state combination as well next you can run this actual analysis 
and uh, you can view the result here you can uh, view the uh, moment force and also the uh, actual force and shear force also and also the deformation and this is uh, the load that uh, you can view on so now I'm going to uh, uh, the steel design and in order to do the uh, optimization you can go to group and new and you can select the member list so I'm going to select two column here one and two and for the uh, material I will select this one and you can add the uh, section of the uh, column that you want to do the uh, optimization so first I'm going to add a uh, new here this is for the new section so B is the uh, flank width uh, you cannot do the optimization of the steel section but uh, you can uh, create uh, many section that uh, with different uh, uh, steel sec uh, I mean steel thickness so I'm going to uh, increase by 50 uh, millimeter and the maximum size is uh, 900 and you can you can create a new one so everything is the same but uh, the thickness is uh, different and another one so now uh, you can click on this button to add all the section here and ok save and to do the design you, you need to select code group design and you can view here we have only one list so this will be number one and this is the uh, load combination so we, we need only the uh, ultimate limit state so this is 5, uh, 5 to 15 and you can do the calculation but uh, before that you need to change the member type so I'm going to call this column 1 and change the uh, uh, buckling length coefficient Z here to customize and I'm going to add this one 2, 4, 6 and copy this for the uh, lateral buckling upper flank and for the lower flank uh, I'm going to add this 2 and 6 change this to calculation and sell now you can uh, set the member type to the column So you got the result here and you can view the section. So this is the best one and you can uh, see the section here. And if you okay with this section you can click on change. And you will have the result here. And you can uh, view the section. So this is the section that the program choose. You can uh, view the property here section. And next you can uh, do the same for the rafter. So you can create a new one. Change this to 2 and change the section here to 3, 4. And change this one 
because the uh, rafter start from big to small so this one will be uh, 6 and 600 600 and this will be 3 300 and 300 okay and save and you can do the same so but uh, you need to set the uh, member type also so I will change this to rafter 2 and add the buckling here so 2 4 6 8 10 uh, this will be number 3 and 12 14 copy this to this one and change this okay and we can apply to the rafter so we got the best one here so now you can uh, chain and close this so this is the uh, final section you can uh, check here and you can delete the unused section also so we have the uh, rafter this one and this is the um, column and next you need to do the calculation again and verify this section so we can go to member uh, verification and change the load combination again calculation and you can see here uh, everything is okay so you can use this section or you can uh, change some more if you think this is not uh, a good result so this is how you do the optimization in uh, uh, RoboSearcher analysis for the temper section and in this case for the gable uh, frame and in case you uh, model it in 3d it's also the same and I think it's, it's more uh, a practice a good practice uh, to do uh, this to save uh, time in order to uh, find the right section for the uh, your structure so i hope you guys uh, enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching i see you guys in my next video